Hey everyone, welcome to Money Wirework. Today we're gonna to talk about how you can play the market both ways to make money at the same time. So what I'm doing right now, this is currently the S&P 500 on the four hour chart. I have a credit spread open. Uh, it is for, let me just minimize myself a little bit here. <clears throat> it is for uh, November 18th expiration and my break even is $437, $400.37. So as long as the S&P uh, 500 is below that mark by the 18th of November, I will make money on this uh, spread. Now you can actually still just close out this position anytime for a profit or a loss too, but ideally obviously you wanna make the profit on that. So what I'm doing right now is the S&P 500 is in a little bit of a rally. A lot of people are considering this a bull trap. I also consider or am considering this a bull trap until sentiment has changed, until we start to see recovery on the larger time frames. So what I'm doing right now just to uh, mitigate this bull rally is I have a position open on TQQQ. And as this goes up, I did actually, I opened and closed. Uh, I opened yesterday and I closed a little bit just because I didn't know where the market was heading. I didn't know if this was gonna be a quick sell off or if something that's gonna go continue up until this 50 moving average. Um, the TSI right now is showing a continuation of the uptrend. And if you zoom in here, there actually was a bullish divergence right here. So this is signs that the rally is still going, con going to continue. So I have a position open on TQQQ, which is uh, the uh, et uh, triple ETF of the QQQ, the NASDAQ. Um, and we're gonna watch that and the benefit of having the Q, uh, TQQQ is you can gain a larger percentage in a shorter amount of time because it, the volatility is higher on it basically, okay? So right now what I'm doing is I'm gonna watch until it gets about 24.50 and then I'll probably start to close out. You can see on the VRVP right now, um, there's heavy resistance. There's a lot to go through right now. So potentially come up, hit this and come back down. If we take a look at the S&P 500 just on the daily time frame, we talked about this trend channel right here, this downward trend channel. We created this before it actually even reached this. Um, I also said way back here, it was going to come up through here and most likely come down into a lower low. Now I was right about that. It came up, went through just as I said, and now we're, we actually did come down to a lower low. So there's no indication as of right now that the S&P 500 has fully recovered. The macroeconomic sentiment as well still is bearish. Uh, the Fed has not pivoted yet. So what we're doing with TQQQ is one, we're mitigating losses on any sort of short position we have open. We're taking advantage of that short term time frame so that you can uh, basically make money on these little mini bull markets. It's obviously a little bit more risky, especially with something like SQQQ or TQQQ. Um, but at the same time, if you manage it, you have a tight stop loss. Uh, you can mitigate that risk and you can actually make money even though you're also shorting the market. It's coming up to about the 380.57 level. There's potential resistance right there. And also right up here on the S&P 500 where you're gonna hit that 50 day moving average right just below where I have my break even point. Now keep in mind as every day goes on, you're gonna have this 50 moving average and these other two moving averages start to pull back down. So the resistance might, you know, when the price action actually meets, might actually be something a little bit more down here. Uh, we can pull up the weekly. And so you can see on this weekly here, there's still room to run up to here. So we're gonna be watching this. We're gonna be taking uh, care of our short position here. We're not gonna do anything crazy by just letting it go no matter what, we're gonna monitor it. But I do think this is going to hit a resistance below my break even point. So making money in the short term on TQQQ, uh, hopefully making more money on the long run on the credit spread of the S&P 500. So long story short, if you're long term on a certain position, like I am short, or I'm shorting the S&P 500, um, you can play that credit spread and then you can use SQQQ and TQQQ to 
take advantage of these little bull rallies and bear uh, rallies as well. As it starts to come back down, you can enter SQQQ. Just keep in mind, it's a little bit more risky to do those um, inverse ETFs, so just have a tight stop loss on it. Uh, we can bring up the Heiken Ashi candles as well and see where we're at. And so right now you're seeing a potential little bit reversal on the Heiken Ashi candles. We might start to see a come up and then a come back down. Now if we come up and come back down and I have a good amount of profit, I might start to sell out of those um, credit spreads. We're going to wait and see. Um, you know, everything can change real quick with the Fed and when they decide to uh, start to start to basically pivot into a more dovish uh, sentiment. But right now, there's no indication really that in, uh, inflation is under control. <clears throat> We're starting to see a little bit of a pivot on it, but there's not a confirmation yet. So as far as I'm playing it, um, so far my sentiment has been right on the this upside here, and so far it's been right on this downside right here. And, and if you're busy, you know, you got a busy lifestyle you don't want to sit and watch the charts every day then just zoom out just play the weeklies play the Heiken Ashi candles here um, you know with this uh, multi MA right here you can just play these Heiken Ashi candles you know this is over the span of probably three or four uh, months here this is the span of over probably about a month and a half here and then you got about two months, maybe just short of two months right here. So um, you have plenty of time if you just zoom out on it. Now, where do I think the S&P 500 is going? If you look at this trend channel, we haven't seen a huge amount of capitulation yet. Um, and as far as the macro economics is concerned, the housing market is still pretty hot. It's starting to cool down. Inflation is still pretty hot. It's starting to cool down. We have not seen it yet. You do have to get ahead of the game a little bit as far as that's concerned. So when we start to see or what you think is a bottom, maybe sell out of your shorts and just sit with cash for a little bit and then go long when that opportunity comes. Uh, when the sentiment starts to turn more bullish. Um, you know, there's still a lot of talks about recession. You have anything from, you know, Hurricane um, <clears throat> Ian to the war is still going on over in Ukraine. Um, there's a lot of unrest in Iran, things like that right now. Uh, China's economy is very, um, it's struggling a lot right now. So all those factors, play into the big guys and whether or not they're buying and selling retail follows that so just keep all that stuff in mind follow it um, take this time to learn if you don't like to go short take this time to learn I have an awesome video on how to use the simple moving averages how to use the RSI I'll post it at the end of this video but uh, happy trading everyone um, I hope you like this content if you do please like subscribe and comment and until then I'll see you next time